What's cracking guys, Omar Esop here, back now with the training videos. I read your comments. I know you guys want to kind of follow along with me as I go into this lean mass phase. So I gotta be honest, I filmed a lot of content over the last two to three weeks. So I'm just gonna combine the greatest hits into this video to let you guys know where I'm at. The first thing that I want to talk about, just quickly, I'm gonna post, I did a 140 uh, kilogram behind the head jerk. Pressed it out completely, but I got some very exciting news when it comes to weightlifting. Um, I'm going to talk more about it in the actual video that's going to come up probably February 1st. I've been preparing for this. A really cool announcement, but essentially uh, my coach, who is a stud, Brian Marshall, he got huge business opportunities, just career opportunities over in Vancouver, uh, where he was offered a prominent position as part of the Vancouver Canucks. So he moved away, which made it hard, obviously, to do the coaching, but he's a phenomenal coach. I learned a hell of a lot from him. I'm going to save the announcement who I'm getting coached by, but let me just say he's a wizard, and you might be able to figure it out if I say that. He is definitely a wizard. Um, I'm super excited. I'm grateful that he's helping me out. But this represents what I did kind of before uh, going under his tutelage. I've since started. This is week one now, and like I said, by about week four, I will have an update. Anyways, that's weightlifting. Let's move on to a few other things. I want to show you an attempt, actually, a 315 incline bench press attempt. Got to be real, after that 220-pound uh, overhead press, I was feeling pretty damn good. All this stuff, like I said, it was done between the period of end of last year and the last two weeks. So I'm just showing you all the highlights. Anyways, I haven't been training the incline bench a hell of a lot, but I thought, fuck it, okay? I hit 100 kilos on the overhead press. I'm feeling strong overall, squats going up, delts going up. What could possibly go wrong? Well, everything. I was wearing a this isn't even my final form shirt, but it kind of was my final form on that day because I did not get the 315 incline bench press, which is why it's now one of my goals for 2017. And I could definitely, I feel uh, I could do this. It's just a matter of time. Honestly, I gained probably a few more pounds, practice the incline bench. I'll get it. But that's, that's kind of a, a side goal. Like I said, I really want to focus on that weightlifting. So got weightlifting. Uh, the incline bench is happening. I am also going to start in a little bit in conjunction with all this stuff. Instead of doing the incline bench a lot, that'll just be a byproduct of 315. But I will be running our program that uh, we have, myself, Silent Mike, and Barquan, our 12-week bench press program. Just to see what happens, I do want to peek on the bench press. I spoke with my uh, weightlifting coach. Should be totally fine when it comes to the weightlifting itself. So I'm running that. Squats. Let's talk about squats now. Squats have been feeling really damn good, actually. This is something I'm finding my groove. I uh, picked up a tip once again from said wizard where I noticed that a lot of weightlifters actually, uh, we talk about high bar, and people always think place it right on the top of your trap. And if you look at stuff that guys like Greg Knuckles would say, that it's really kind of a spectrum when we talk about high bar to low bar where you place it. And so for me, what I used to do before, I used to place it quite high up on the traps and it'd feel just a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, there'd be a little bit of uh, pinching in the neck, but more than that, I'd find I would still get pitched forward despite working on the mobility and everything. But I since have shifted it down just half an inch, still well above my low bar position and it feels great. So I did 365.5 uh, high bar belt list. I did that uh, before you guys saw that 425 for three with the belt, I'm gearing up towards that 505. I basically just got to build volume. In the last two weeks, I did uh, 355 for five, easy, beltless, um, high bar, then I did 365 for five, and then recently, I did 375 pounds for five, which is actually a PR. And people ask me, like, yo, man, but what? I thought you uh, had a 500 pound low bar squat. Totally, but a low bar is completely different than a high bar, and beltless is the same way as well. Um, my best beltless, when I hit a 500 pound, uh, low bar, it was 385 for 5x5 five five, uh, when it came to the squat, Bella squat. So if I can achieve that on the high bar squat, I know I'm getting in the right territory. So things are moving just this way. There's a lot of goals, like I said before. Um, the overhead press, same idea. I've been working on building that volume again where I hit that 100 kilos, 220 pounds. The next goal, of course, would then be the 102.5, which is like 226 pounds. I know these sound like whack numbers to Americans just because 226 pounds, bro, that's not an aesthetic number, but I do it now on the weightlifting side with the weightlifting bar just to, I, I know it doesn't have a huge carryover 
to weightlifting, but just to get used to on that rack position, the weightlifting bar and all those things. So that's going to come along. Hopefully, honestly, I'll have a new overhead press PR within the next four to five weeks. And uh, like I said, things are just moving in that right direction. I'm really focused. I uh, came back from the vacation weighing exactly three pounds more than I wanted to be, 179 pounds. So I got two weeks now in order to lose that weight before I start on this bulk. So training's going well, training hard, combining everything. I'm training now uh, five times a week. I'm actually taking one extra day off. I used to train six times a week. I'm doing more per session. I have my weightlifting workouts, and then I have the other general strength things, and then, you know, kind of the muscle building goals that I have. So I combine all those things. It's kicking my ass. It's a dirty job, but I love it. Um, that's really it when it comes to training. Things, like I said, are syncing up. This is the first update. I'll provide you guys with a more long video with a particular training session next week, but I just decided I had all this extra footage, like kind of from here, there, last week, last few weeks, the highlights, just to show you guys to catch you up to speed. I hope everyone had a great session today. Post below what you trained in the comment section below. You made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, Looking right at you, right into that soul, bro. Like the damn video, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace. Eat your vegetables, eat your vegetables, eat your fucking vegetables.